Mount Defiance, which is about 5,000 feet up and 5,000 feet back down. We actually did this one last week as well, but we didn't film it. We've been training for something really special coming up this summer, which is we are going to Cusco out into the Andes to be hiking Choco Quiero and more on that in the future, but it's going to be a a killer hike. It's our first time going international since COVID started, so we're really excited. We have everything booked, so knock on wood that everything goes through. But we have to get our bodies in shape, so we've just been working, researching, and hiking lately. But this summer, there's going to be some amazing videos coming. Today, though, we're just training. See you there. All right, so we're a bit into the hike because we don't usually start right off of an interstate, but that's kind of how this one is. 5,000 feet up, starting at the interstate about almost sea level, and then going up to 5,000, so that's where we're going. So the first mile of views that we've already had is about all the views. We're about to enter the trees and just start going straight up. It's all trail, it's all 100% incline. It's, it's a grind. Sam, tell the good people about your shoes. Oh man, these are my new shoes. Uh, my last ones, as you saw, had a hole in right here. These are Merrells and they have good arch support for my plantar fasciitis, because I'm getting old. Woo, woo. My REI trip and Columbia store trip was not as fruitful. That's all right, we'll figure it out at some point. I just need new shoes sooner than later. This trail is great because not only does it have like expansive views, it also has beautiful wildflowers this time of year. They're starting to bloom and there's also a lot of poison oak, so that's a bummer. What a very nice flat spot. When is Swedish Fish going to sponsor us? Right, come on, we're your most valued customer. It is snack break number one. We made it much farther than last week. And yeah, we're gonna sit, take a break, get some energy. All right, we are at the most difficult section of this trail. Sam just said we gained about 189 feet in a tenth of a mile, so I don't know how the math works out exactly, but it sounds like like 30% grade. It's great. It's the best time. I'm gonna keep going. All right, so we're about half mile from where we stopped last time, about six days ago, and we got about 500 feet left, so about 20% average grade up. That's a lot easier than the 35 we just got through. I'm tired. First patch of snow. Oh, Ooh, we're up here. Okay, we just hit a definitive snow line. We're there. Now we're gonna take a nice break here and decide if we wanna keep going after some food. Very hungry. We're gonna keep going. We didn't make them all this way. It's only 1.6 miles. We're good. So we are gonna go to the top. We're as far as Telby Post Hole because it's getting snowy. And there's a big rain cloud out there. So time will tell. That's the rain cloud I was talking about. <laughs> Ooh, that is dark. All right, we're at a decision point. Now look at the snow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'm slipping. It really does turn into it. 
I'm yeah. slipping. That guy earlier did say the micro spikes would help. We're here for the workout. We're here for the workout, and I think we did that. We might be done. I might be done. Yep. Well, let's go back to the safe, dry trail that's still wet and slippery, but not snowy. Yep. And then hopefully get down before that <gasps> rain cloud destroys us. Yep. <laughs> All right. Bad folks. <laughs> I was ready to keep going. Oh, yummy. Sorry. <laughs> She's a champ. My legs are shaking like crazy. We've made it down so fast. Oh, too much. All right, that'll do it for Mount Defiance. That is one of the most unforgiving downhills in the world that I know of. <laughs> it's rough. My knees hurt. I'm ready to go drive and get some food. See you next time. <laughs>